Gaff mm-hmm. a lot of chances in that second half and uh, just didn't make it count, do we? Yeah, I think we, I think we were a much different team second half to first half. Um, people may argue that's when the boy gets sent off. I think perhaps they're fortunate only to have one go off the pitch. Um, but we're not going to talk about Rochdale. That's Keith's business. But we've made enough chances today, in my opinion, to win three or four games. Good chances, clear cut chances, and then nothing will change in football. You know. If you've got a good goalkeeper performance against you, but you don't score a goal and take a chance, then you're going to find it very difficult to win the game. And um, you know, perhaps if anything, we could have moved that a little bit quicker, even when we were totally dominant. Um, of course, in that period, it, you know, we were thinking I might have make a doubt at one stage because you could pick a pass, but we were so dominant, it was going to be about whether we could execute in the 18-yard box, and we'd done enough without scoring a goal. And you know, I don't think I've been in such a Dominant one sided second half for a while, and you know, if we'd have scored three or four in that second half, it would have been it would have been the telling story of the game. But if you don't take your chances, you don't win games. Is that just a ruthless edge that they need to, to find? Well, when you go through the chances, you it's players that could score a goal that, that miss the chances. Um, you know, Graham Edwards should, should certainly score, Andrew Hughes should, should, should score in the follow up, Jack Bowen should do better when he wins a good header from. Set play, but it's a clear header, seven, eight yards out, right down the goalkeeper's throat. Um, you know, and we've got ourselves in, in good areas in the pitch. Wardy should do better than just sky it into the to the sky when um, we set him up from a well what something we've worked on to be fair. And but you know, taking all that away, we we've lost. It's, it's business stage of the season. We would have been in the playoffs we'll win. We told the players before the game we didn't win. Um so we need to we need to go and get ready for Thursday. Yeah, you obviously had to make changes to your side. Lewis Freestone came in at left back. He went up two up front with Junior Marias. How did you feel those two did? Listen, I think Lewis done great. I think it's a big stage for him. Um, he's, he's certainly his last time here wasn't his best performance against Bristol Rovers, but we've worked quite hard. I thought he did well, the kid. He's going to have the odd moment where he gets it stuck under his foot. He's, it's, it's a decent level this of football, so I thought he did very well. Uh, Junior, I think, has had better days when he's been more effective. Yeah, you're without three. Players that obviously would walk into your starting lineup today in Tafazoli, Taylor, and, and Madison. They're, they're big misses at this stage of the season. Well, Porsche fans, I get to know me. I'm not a player that, a manager, sorry, that that looks at key individuals and says if they're out, if they must focus on the ones that played. You know, and we had we had some good performances out there today. You know, I'm normally enough to, to comfortably win a football match, but we've not done it. So we're, we're going to go and have to fight again on Thursday. My God, we'll fight. You know, people think that we're out of it, they'll look at this result, but. I think Keith Hill is normally an honest man. We'll see if he's honest today, won't we, when he appraises the game afterwards. Yeah, as you say, the, the pressure now obviously goes to, to Blackburn and, and the game's remaining. And I guess, as you say, you've got to pick up as many points as you can and see where it takes you. Well, we have to, we have to go to Blackburn and produce a performance. And, and we get the advantage ahead of the weekend when everyone else plays. So it is an advantage, I think, if you can go and deal with it. And if you don't, then you have to either watch the other games that affect you or, or buy your mobile or buy your television screen and see what's happening. But... You know, we'll analyse today first, and and then we'll we'll pick a team and we'll get ready. But I, I can't I can't be overly critical of of the team. We've made enough chances to win a number of games, and it's it's individual class and quality that can score a goal. And and today we were missing from that. I would expect Edwards to score. I'd expect Ward to do better. I, I would expect Jack uh, Baldwin to to even score from the header. In all honesty, I would I would expect us to. Um, to, to take chances when they're created as, as much as they will. We had total, total dominance. And it has to be said, the goalkeeper is... I've never seen him play like the Rochdale goalkeeper. I've seen him many times. I've never seen him. He's, he's probably had seven, you would say, outstanding saves today. But we didn't have enough quality to beat him on the day.